Good morning, all. It's Gord, your hurt and hippie, and look what's right there. Big old bunny rabbit. He came in here to have a bite to eat while I do my video, so I thought I'd leave him there because he's he's quite happy. If I move too much, he'll run and go to somebody else's yard, and I don't want that. I like my yard being full of animals and birds and everything else. Good morning, all. It's Gord, your hurt and hippie. It is Sunday morning, and I... I couldn't think of something to write today, so I thought I'd just share my Sunday with you. Today, uh, right now, I'm just watching this pretty, pretty bunny rabbit eating away like crazy. It's a young one, but it's big. Uh, then, I'm hoping to talk to my little boy. He's in Riga, Latvia. I'm missing him lots, and thanks to all of you, I get by. I get by my... Two years ago was his last visit. He was... Well, he's nine now. He was seven then. He was seven going on six then. And... Oh, it was a hard month. It was a difficult month because he missed me. I missed him. I... Uh, the visit wasn't as good as it could have been. It wasn't as well planned. Just so many things around it that it, although he really enjoyed things, it was difficult and the separation anxiety was huge on me. This time, instead of seven going on six, a boy with troubles who fights with his mom and going through a divorce in the family, all that stuff. Instead of that, this time, this is a young man. He's nine going on 13 or 14. He's very mature. He knows how to get along really well with his mother now and his grandparents. He knows how to respect those around him and not create friction and knows how to reduce friction when it exists. That's because he spent this last year with his dad every single day of his life uh every single day of that year we're back to even though he doesn't live with me we're back to a constant influence of both mom and dad on the child and that is the best thing that a child could ever have yeah it would be better if we were in the same house that's never going to happen but this is the best of both worlds. And here he is away for a month. It's been two and a half, three weeks. I only have a week and a couple of days left without him. And I'm getting by. I hurt. I wake up in the mornings really, really missing him. And then the day gets on and I start giving myself my own pep talks. Uh, maybe that's what I'll call it is give yourself a pep talk. And I do that throughout the day. I've been doing it this morning and trying to remind myself that he is out there. Like his mother just sent me a picture. He's at a movie in Riga, Latvia uh, with English subtitles and 18 other kids, a birthday party. So when I look at something like that, how can you not be happy? So you give yourself that pep talk. You tell yourself the positives that, that make you smile. You love your kid having fun uh, and stop dwelling on the difficult. Last night was difficult. Yes, I should say yesterday afternoon. It was evening for Pasha. His mother had gone out. Big deal. She only goes out one or two nights while she's gone. That used to be where she lived, you know, all her friends. And he was there with his grandparents and just feeling lonely, missing his dog, missing his brother, and yeah, missing his dad. We talked a lot, he cried a little, and that sure made me cry. And when I woke up, that's the first thing that was on my mind, was, sorry, was that little bit of difficulty yesterday. But that was the first time I heard that young man cry since he left. He came close to tears when saying goodbye to me at the airport. But he had been doing really, really well, and he is having a really good time. Him and his mom, him and his grandparents get along so well now. 
and I think it's his maturity that causes that. Uh, and I've learned to handle my emotions just the, a little bit better. And so he's teaching me. And that's the beauty of it, is this, this video is helping me. It's my pep talk as I talk to all of you. And remember that that young boy is doing something that probably no other boy or girl in his grade five class coming up soon will have done. He will be able to talk about going to Holland and going to a, 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 a paleontology museum, going to old medieval castle, uh, going to downtown Riga that was built in 1204 AD and still has parts of the wall that surrounded the city during medieval times. And not just little parts, big sections of the wall where the cannons stood and everything. Absolutely amazing what he's learning. And this is giving me the strength to make it through yet one more day. Friends, I thank you coming soon. Hippie news. And that'll be it for today because today needs to be a day where I just put my feet up and relax my back hurts. Peace and cheers, friends. Love and harmony. It may be today you find people with smiles like crazy and they build yours. If not, give them one of yours and maybe you can share one. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony.